Hi guys, this is Divyansh and uh, today in this video, we are going to talk about 5G guys and uh, let's talk about 5G, what is 5G and uh, how uh, far is 5G from away from India and when we can see 5G in India and what types of band does it support and uh, what are the characteristics, differentiating characteristics from 4G and advantages and disadvantages over 4G guys. So in this video we are uh, going to talk completely about 5G and also about 5G smartphones. Uh, should you buy the 5G smartphones now or should you wait uh, and what are the factors that you need to take care of while buying a 5G smartphone. I've made several points guys as you can see I have a paper with me. I've written all the points in this paper and today we are going to discuss 5G. So let's start the video guys. So guys, uh, all of you might be knowing, uh, we all run, uh, we all access internet and other f network uh, facilities and quality, uh, other network factors through mobile network guys. And our current mobile network is 4G LTE. What does this mean? This means that we are now currently using the fourth generation of networking for uh, our communication medium. And now guys, after several years, uh, Jio was the first one to come up with 4G and now uh, we are going to witness 5G. And what is 5G guys? Sim in simple layman terms, if I uh, define 5G, 5G is advancement over 4G and uh, hence is the fifth generation of networking guys, uh, network that, uh, that we are going to see. And it has uh, many advantages guys and it is an advancement over uh, 4G guys. So what is the difference that you are going to see between 4G and 5G? Obviously guys there are some speed limits that are uh, defined with both of the network either 5G or 4G. With 4G it was said that it is going to support 100 megabytes of speed but simply we do not get that type of speeds guys. We almost get 20% of that speeds and in Geo uh, I'm using a, I'm a 4, 4G user and I have a Geo sim hardly get about 9 to 10 Mbps of speed just 10% of what it's claimed. But guys in 5G the speeds are comparatively higher and are about 100 times more than that of 4G. For, so that means that if in 4G I'm going to get 10 Mbps internet speed, then I could get around 90 to 95 Mbps speed on 5G guys. So uh, it's significantly better than 4G in terms of data speeds and other factors guys. So this is one of advantages, uh, this is one of the advantage of 5G. Also guys, it's backward compatible. What, what does this mean? So if you live in a 5G network uh, and if you don't have access to any 5G equipment like 5G smartphone, then you simply are not going to take use of any aid. And uh, when this 4G networks and towers will get upgraded to 5G, it will also support 4G, 3G, 2G and all the network so that is one advantage that it's backward compatible so if a guy who does not have any access to 4g uh, 5g sorry guys 5g can simply run their networks on 4g 3g and 2g and also it's backward compatible also and guys the biggest advantage of this is low latency uh, what does this mean is guys any operation that is carried over uh, internet or uh, it's carried over normally calling and all you will not notice any latency guys you will not notice any lag everything will be instantaneous for example guys uh, what i'm trying to say is uh, using your geo sim if you try to open google web page it takes some amount of time to open that web page but with uh, 5g it is they are claiming that it will open instantaneously without any delay so guys uh, the, uh, there will be an improvement in latency and it's uh, uh, set to be 10 ms that is 10 millisecond and uh, guys regarding uh, the ISPs who are going to provide 5, uh, 5G there are two main competitors guys as you all know Airtel and Geo and guys uh, now in uh, IMC uh, Mr. Mukesh Amani said that he is going to roll out 5G uh, in the mid of 2021. No one was expecting after this great pandemic also uh, that is Corona and all 
5G rollout will be that much uh, speed in India. But uh, fortunately, guys, we are going to get 5G and uh, it is going to roll out in some areas, guys, not in every area, in some high tech cities like Hyderabad, Bombay and uh, Bangalore, like metro cities like that will get 5G. Uh, but it will be a limited, uh, it will be in a limited place, but uh, we will get 5G, that is for sure, guys. And uh, that's very, uh, that's very good to see. Uh, what is the main advantage of uh, 5G is that uh, 5G in a particular area, for example, you have an area of around 100 uh, square, uh, uh, square meter, meter square. If you have an area of 100 uh, meter square, guys, and if 4G in that area supported 1 lakh devices, then it's going to, then in 5G, it's going to support uh, about 10 times more devices. That is almost 10 lakh devices. So in a particular area, if you're uh, using too many smartphones, that uh, then the signal will simply just not overlap and kill each other. And uh, hence the network, network reception and uh, the problem of low signal reception will simply not be there so that is also a good thing uh, that we find on 5g guys now talking about 5g guys it's uh, there are two types of 5g networks first is called the sub 6 gigahertz network and the other is called millimeter wave and guys these are very different uh, uh, though both are 5g but the millimeter wave is way fast way 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 fast than the sub gigahertz band uh, guys sub 6 gigahertz band Guys, the millimeter wave is very expensive to implement and uh, we'll see in only some part of our country, not every part, because uh, right now in developed countries also like USA, Europe, you're not, you, you simply cannot see a uh, millimeter wave in every part of the country because it's very uh, expensive to implement and it can be blocked very easily. For example, guys, uh, if this is a tower and this is a receiver, or uh, network receiver and you just keep a paper not not a paper guys realistically but you just keep a tree uh, between both of them then the millimeter wave will be blocked by that tree so the frequency of that millimeter wave is so much that uh, it can easily be blocked it's uh, the wavelength of that millimeter wave is just very 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 small and can be easily blocked that's why it's very you have to set up very very uh, large number of towers and that is practically impossible so in some areas only and uh, that too in open areas there is a po possibility of getting millimeter wave but mostly in india we are going to see the sub 6 gigahertz network guys and there are also many bands in that sub 6 ne uh, gigahertz network guys now uh, as you all know uh, in 2020 many smartphones uh, release saying the word 5g 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 but guys just make it clear not all the 5g smartphones are truly 5g there are some smartphones which need to support all the bands of the a particular frequency for example there are almost 12 to 14 bands inside sub 6 gigahertz uh, 5g network so if your smartphone does not support all those bands simply your uh, smartphone will not get any 5g network guys so that's uh, something that you need to keep in your mind don't just slide over the term 5g don't and uh, just buy a smartphone just go to a website check what type of band it supports and then only invest in a smartphone if you're a very uh, if you're just willing to uh, buy a 5g smartphone and guys don't worry 5g uh, will come we all know it will come but it will simply not vanish the uh, existence of the 4g network it will take almost three years for 5g to uh, uh, stabilize in india until then we uh, you are safe cornered so if you buy a 4g phone also today don't worry you are not going to lose anything guys and in a f uh, period of three years to four years a smartphone simply just dies guys any smartphones in this era are designed to be uh, running for a period of almost maximum two to three years uh, if you're a consumer also then also you'll get bored out of your smartphone even after six or seven months there are some people i know 
who get uh, bored out of their smartphone i am one of them guys so just uh, relax if you are not having a 5g smartphone just check if you want it if you want it then go for a 5g smartphones after checking the amount of band it supports but if you are not in a hurry just wait there are may, there will be many smartphones in 2021 who will be launched with 5g support so guys uh, this uh, these are the points that i wanted to mention and uh, guys jio is the first company who has announced that uh, it will roll out its 5g network uh, in mid of 2021 in indian mobile congress so it's very nice to see a company uh, who came from nowhere now is uh, doing things that the well established companies like airtel bsnl cannot are not going to do so guys uh, these are the things that you need to consider during uh, for 5g i might you, uh, i think you might under, uh, have understood what i was trying to say and uh, guys regarding uh, regarding 5g smartphones don't hurry if you have a 4g smartphone you are safe you don't need to buy 5g smartphone and if you're happy with your present smartphone just continue to use it as normally you use a particular smartphone guys now coming to the cons of 5g guys the first con it's uh, it's very expensive to implement guys it will be very expensive to implement 5g because since the frequency of the 5g is less when compared to 4g there will be requirement of many towers uh, many more towers for getting proper signal so the expensive it will be expensive the expenditure will be more for implementation of 5g as a result of guys the second con is that we might see a variation of prices uh from 4g to 5g for example if uh, the basic plan in 4g is for 399 it can simply bump up to 999 or 1099 for 5g so that is also a uh, con guys and many uh, websites are suggesting that the rates of 5g initially will be very 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 high so that is also a, a con uh, guys and the biggest con of a 5g network is guys uh since the frequency is so high it can easily be blocked by objects guys like trees like mountains like your uh, terrace your walls it can be easily blocked by all those factors so that is also a thing that you need to uh, consider guys so these are the three main cons that i have with 5g and uh, guys over the period of time this cons will not vanish completely but it will be uh, but it will be diminished to such a factor that it will be acceptable so guys these are the some cons of 5g and uh, i uh, in this video i try to make you all understand what is 5g when it's going to come what are the bands that are supported in 5g and uh, what are the things you need to consider while buying a 5g smartphone and uh, guys i'll uh, link some uh, websites in the uh, description area just check out more if you want to uh, know about 5g so guys uh, in this video let's uh, keep uh, this video till here and uh, i hope i could make you all understand what i wanted to say and uh, guys let's uh, meet in our another video a uh, video if you like this video uh, do hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel and that's it for now this is divyansh signing off and all you take care bye